A Native American communities marked Indigenous Peoples Day Monday, holding sunrise ceremonies from coast to coast, from New York City's Randall's Island to California's Alcatraz Island. Eight states and over 130 cities and counties have stopped recognizing the federal holiday of Columbus Day and now recognize Indigenous Peoples Day. In New York, hundreds of protesters rallied outside the American Museum of Natural History statue of U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt, who's depicted riding on a horse above an indigenous person and enslaved person on both sides of him. Protesters have long called for the statue's removal. This is Daisy Bugarin. These museums and these institutional um, spaces try to tell this narrative that never was, right, by glorifying the supremacists like Teddy, by glorifying the white man, and also by um, telling a narrative that is not coming from our voice and uh, having these artifacts of these people that were supposedly—it's uh, almost as if we've been extinct and we're not. So when we come, we're reclaiming what is our identity, and we're also showing the world that we still exist, that we are still resisting. And beyond that, that our struggles are all one against capitalism, against imperialism.